it. Your teammate won't be completing their operation so much as they'll be needing one. That's awful. Neighborhood's been caught up in some extortion rackets. Gangster bastards been cleaning out the local shops. Protection money, they say. I'm planning to crack their crypto wallets and return that money, but first I need the key. Right, right, right. And you need Detex help to find it. I'm with you. Exactly. We get the key and we get everything they stole. Help me out and I won't forget it. One good turn deserves another. Cool, cool. We're on it. Network traffic points to the private key bin on some kind of mobile server, probably a van in one of their hideouts. That's the vehicle there. Bagley, I'm inbound with a crypto key. I need a safe drop site and a meeting with our hacker friend straight away. Got it. Pushing the coordinates now. The Kelly thugs who would kill me on sight. Funny you should mention that. I'm seeing multiple Clan Kelly hostiles converging on the van right now. Great. Here's the plan. I keep them busy, you grab the crypto. Moving in. Still alive? Hmm. Well, sometimes I'm wrong. Transfer complete. I'll open a channel to our hacker friend. Absolutely brilliant, mate. I'll make sure this crypto gets back to the people who need it. I mean, your debt. Look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Yes, I thought about this too. If we want to stop their mercs from stepping all over us, we've got to take down their leader. So what's your plan? Across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. As if it wasn't dodgy enough. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact... Like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. 
He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. According to his home security, and before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Fucking paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Acknowledged. Nice rig up. Bit amateur compared to mine, but... You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. I've got this. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. <laughs> The traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Now hold on. It's not what you think. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Fuck no. Think more subversive. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Oi, there's no time for that. Listen, Albion knows you're in London. You've got to run. You've got to run fast, mate. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, Cass is worse than you know. Oh, really? No shit. Why else do you think I'd be risking my ass here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Listen, Cass is a piece of shit. We need your help to take him down. The bombings, that was him. And he came after us too. Mate, you don't know shit. 
You have no idea what class is and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you fuck. weren't lying about that part. Fuck, I think, I think. Shit, fine. The table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them, or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. OK, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Auto drive now disabled. Ah, shit. I'll be in cyber security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Uh. Hmm. Into the lion's den. Fine. So. Ultra tight security, right? I'd like to help, fam, but Nigel's just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? Welcome to DeadSec. Bigger, stronger, Badder than ever. Thank you. I'm ready for action. Brilliant. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. I still can't believe Albion took over the Tower. Seeing it like this is heartbreaking. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Right, fan out and find the target. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. Oh, you know much more about Cass than I do. Yeah, I was Albion too, if you hadn't twigged to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. Huh. He was genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Seriously? Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. This door clearly requires a security pass. Fantastic. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. I want to see it. 
Internal Psych Assessment AS001 Subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Well, oh, shit. Cass really isn't right in their head, and they're trusting him with the security of London. Yeah, well... Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. How's it going? Seems a bit tense. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you, that with the launch of Project Temis, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> No, oh, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the Defence Minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. <gasps> it's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside part? No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention, a building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to document breach. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. How do I get out, Bagley? The catacombs, fam. Saw Nigel in action in there, didn't you? Man, 
Now can be very, uh, persuasive. Fuck. He's crazed. And anything coming out of that brain case will be crazed, including this Themis project. top secret project is an automated killing machine and it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch we have to get Themis out of his hands I'll prepare a briefing will we see you there Hamish pretty face not risking remember but patch me in you and me got some scheming to do Bagley Security is down in the R&D lab. The plans for the microdrone will be in there somewhere. Downloaded the schematics. You can leave whenever you like.
Well, if I was hiding a top-secret, morally dubious drone project like Themis, I would put it in the secure vault on the lowest level. You will have to hack your way past some pretty serious security, however. The elevator that leads to the secure vault that houses Themis is locked down. You will have to access the bypass terminal to use it. You will require a spider bot. You'll be using Sebastian and the rest of the microdrones to bypass security. But first you'll have to get by that laser array. I suggest a spider bot and steady nerves. I've got this. A cesspool of lawlessness. It is clear that humanity can no longer police itself. Fortunately, we don't have to. Welcome to Project Themis. Albion has found a way to apply an existing system, LifeScore, a data aggregator of biometrics, personal information, to our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. score algorithm my algorithm i should have scrubbed it before i left what do you mean hamish you know how famous works no fam well yeah this was years ago we were developing a life score algorithm for what cas called a peacekeeping system supposed to identify vulnerable civilians not target them fucking hell so in theory th exactly that's the way cas thinks genius but twisted we have to stop this, and I know how. We delete the life score data, and Themis is done. Gah, fuck. Fine. Yes, we'll have the award ceremony another time. Get out now.
this may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. No, no, this is my city, and I will not have dead sick ruin my fools! They walked calmly into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So do any of you have anything to say? Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be revetted immediately. Someone help them, that's certain, and we will root them out. This time, we will get them all. Well, that's about done it. Cass is gonna steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You did it. Oi, come on, man. We couldn't have done it without you, and you know it. What do you say we keep this collaboration going on, yeah? Cass is still pulling the strings. Uh, not much of a joiner, fam. Considering how my days are all being ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember them? Completely gutted Deadset 1.0. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings. So we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. Shite. That was banging. Think I'm getting this DedSec thing? You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Right. You running some cheeky beta program, Bagley? No, don't worry about Bagsy. You get used to his side commentary. Mad job, cuz. In the last, a bull and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi's down or something. Oh, is that relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke or you'd just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. 